having a quite awesome day today yes I'm missing two students one who I knew was going to be gone and one who I suspected would be gone which whatever it's not a huge deal because we're not whoops not a huge deal but I do miss them when they're gone so I have four things to hand out to them today I've got the newsletter slash menu I've got this Eagle Days thing I've got the note about our uh, seasonal science and then the supplies that we need and then the newsletter so I'm gonna be stuffing their cubbies in a minute oh <sighs> but I thought I'd stop for a second and catch my breath I just ran upstairs and got stuff out of my mailbox and signed my certificates for the assembly tomorrow I think I'm good oh, darn it I printed my newsletter upstairs in color and I totally forgot to grab it well, that's okay when I take my kids to lunch I'll try to remember to go by the office again and look for that ah. so the kids are loving these bags that we're opening every hour. So we've done the first three. So we did eight, nine, and 10. So I just turned them over. Cause instead of having to do this again next year, I'm gonna put this in my January drawer because I didn't, as you can see, I didn't open the bags up this year and then they don't get squished cause they don't need to be open really unless you're gonna set them on a table. But I don't really have any space for that. I have set them on this ledge before, like along here. And they get knocked off because there's really nothing in them to weight them down. So this works just great. So when they come back after lunch, it'll be close to noon. We get out of lunch at 11. Oh, goodness. Teacher brain. Teacher tired brain. I don't know. Sometime before, before 12. We get out of lunch sometime before 12. I think it's 11. I don't even know. Seriously? Oh, my goodness. 11.50. Wow. That gives us time to go to the bathroom and get back here to do our new year's toast at our new year toast at noon so before i go get them probably at i don't know like probably 10 minutes before i go get them from lunch i will pour the seven up into the little cups i have little clear cups that i can put them in i think i'll use these over here the fancier ones because they don't tip over as badly either yeah i've got these kind so I'll just use them, punch cups. This is probably enough. So, 
looks like the right amount. I'll count them in a little bit and bring them over here to the table. So I've been playing the soundtrack to The Greatest Showman for them. And they've been so excited. They don't really hear the music so much. But one of the girls was like, guys, quiet. I want to hear this song. And I'm like, yeah, I'd like to hear it too. And they're like, oh, okay. So yeah, but I'm really not being a stooge about the noise today because they're just very excited to be back. And they're very excited for the activities that we're doing. And they're very excited just in general to be alive because <laughs> they're six and seven. And it's really, really cold outside. So they're going to have inside recess. So they're going to be a little squirrelier anyway. Probably as the, thankfully we only have two days. So as the week wears on, I was going to say, we only have two days. So I think we can handle that. Okay, I have 17 students here. There, perfect. I got my cups on a row, ready for the acceptance of 7-Up. I could put these extra ones back under my little curtain back here. Okay. See these curtains here? I showed that in my tour. I have them all across my little shelving things because they're open. Blech. Because I have open shelving in here and I don't know why I never did this till now, but this is great. It hides all the stuff like it was neat and tidy but it's not like in little uniform bins or anything like that so it's all like just looked cluttery and now it's all uniform because it's all that yellow like a pineapple kind of thing see it's got like a cross hatch kind of a thing almost so that's pretty nice when we came in today the vent cover can you see the vent up there that right there eh, right there that was hanging down from the ceiling and my kids were like why is that open what is that doing because they don't miss anything i'm not kidding they ne they miss nothing they're very very observant i went oh well our custodian needs to put a new filter in there like oh okay well then of course the more kids come in why is that open i'm like ask them <laughs> they know they'll tell you so that was kind of nice and then oh the kids opened their gift that device sparks our elf left for them and this is what it was which I think I showed you before Christmas, but some of you probably didn't see that video. So it was these. These are $5 at Walmart in the little toy section, of course. And they were super excited because it'll go in our challenge bins, which I already put it in there for ketchup and pickles time, in which they'll get to do it tomorrow. We do that on Fridays in the mornings because we don't have um, math intervention time on Fridays. And so we have a little more time for stuff like that. I think I showed you my hat earlier. All the kids made their hats and it's made to fold up in a comb, comb, yeah. A cone shape, hmm. But they're tiny and I think in years past, I've just like hole punched the ends like around and then I had them tied under their chin but it's just like a little tiny thing on their head and it's just kind of silly. So I thought we'd try it on a sentence strip this time and I think it looks okay. I mean, it's all right. Not bad. I like a crown. So that'll be fine. And then I've got my New Year's kiss notes ready for them. Okay. <sighs> yeah, I'm just kind of. Mm. I have early buses today. And so I think I need to go out in the hallway and see if there's something in the way of where we show the projector on the wall. Because when I had early buses before, there wasn't anything in the way. And then during Christmas time, there was stuff hanging there from one of the classes and we couldn't project on that wall. And I think all of that's probably down now. So I might be able to project because I only have early buses today and tomorrow. Tomorrow will be no big deal. We're out there for like five minutes and then they call us to leave because it's early dismissal on Fridays. But today it'll be a good 15 minutes. And so I need to do something to keep them occupied because... If the rest of the kids are as excited as mine are, it'll be really loud and we won't be able to hear the announcements very well. So I'm going to try to find like a short little video or something I can show them from YouTube off my iPad. I think that'll be a good idea. So I think I'm going to go check and see if anything is set up for that. Yeah. And I'll probably check back in later and let you know what's up. We didn't get through everything this morning because we never do. It always, you know... I'm not a real stickler for like, okay, now we need to do this. All right, now we need to do this because I want it to be, I keep it moving, but I don't crack the whip. 
So I'll say, okay, you have a couple more minutes to finish up this activity and then we're gonna move on. That way they're not like, I'm not finished. I'm like, it's okay. We're gonna take it home, so it's fine. So they really loved making their New Year's cheer mix. That was so cool. They, they love it every year, so that's why I do it every year. Um, I had them come up in their partners, whoever they were reading with. It worked out really well because the rest of the kids were still reading. And then I only had a couple of kids that were going down the line. I had it in an assembly line. I kind of wish I would have showed you that. But I had like a bowl full of popcorn. Then I had a bowl full of, what was next, the Lucky Charms. Then I had a bowl full of Bugles. Then I had the bag of M&Ms. And I had, I had counted out the Hershey's Kiss as one for each kid because that was like, that's like a special sweetness in their bag or something. I don't know. Let me read... I don't think I have, yes, I do have mine somewhere. I don't know what I did with mine. Hmm. Well, oh, here's one. Yeah. Oh. So this was the topper of the bag. And I labeled their bags. I put their student number on their bags. And I wrote my name, of course. But, um, and after they made them, I just sealed them up and stapled this to the top and left it laying on the table. So they wouldn't be tempted to get into it or whatever before snack time. So I had, I showed them how to carefully pull this off their bag and take the staple out so they didn't accidentally eat the staple. That would not be special. And then I said, oh, flip over your little tag because there's a poem. And here's what the poem says. The bugles are the horns and hats we use on New Year's Eve. The M&Ms are colorful confetti that we heave. The Hershey kisses represent our family and friends. The, they sweeten up our lives with love that never ends. The popcorn is the fireworks popping colors in the sky. The lucky charms are for good luck to help us all get by. And I said, please take that home and show your parents because they would probably think that was kind of cool. And I said, you know, since your snack is in a bag, if you don't want to finish it, you can take it home. So if you're done with it before you actually finish all the food in it, then you can put it in your cubby and take it home. Put it in your backpack. So that was cool. I also let them have their stuffed animals out early so they could read with them. And they thought that was super awesome. I told them they could wear their brag tags today because today was a special day. So that was really fun. Um, we did the flippy book together because it's always kind of tricky. So I'll show you what we did here. So I just showed them how to cut it. See the example up here. And then we went through each part of it, you know, two ways I can be a better student something I want to stop doing and I gave examples of talking out and not listening one student I'd like to get to know better in our class and then eight books I'd like to read this year and I told them it could be books that I read to you it could be during our rest and read time I always read a chapter book so if there are some chapter book series that you would really like to me to read to you we might be able to do that and so several of the kids came up with some really great ideas so it's gonna be good and one little boy was like snowman books and I said guess what your wish will come true very soon because check this out and I showed him all the books I had just put out yesterday so check this out I showed him this see all the snowman books there and he just went so he was very excited that made me feel really good so most of the books on there are books that I read to them anyway I've never heard of the Haunted Library. That was one series, I guess, that one of my girls mentioned. And I was like, oh, that sounds cool. She said she loves it. She reads it over and over. Uh, Magic Trios, of course, I read this. Read Alouds. Owl Diaries, I really like. It's kind of a newer series. I want to say they started getting those out last year. So I just got number seven. And it came with this little cupcake. Where did I put the cupcake? Hmm. I just had the little cupcake. There it is. It came with this. And I was like, oh, guys, look, it came with the cupcake. And I was like, I don't know if it's a lip gloss or what it is. It is a scented cupcake eraser with a sharpener. Can you see the hole? The kids just about, it blew their minds. They were just like, oh, can we all share it? I said, well, how about I just let you smell it during rest and read time? Because it's supposed to smell like a cupcake, I suppose. And then I will keep it because I did buy it anyway. But told them they could see that later and that we could start reading Owl Diaries. I need to find the first one because I think they want to hear it today. So that would be fine. Oh, I was saying we didn't get through everything. We did the flip book. We didn't do the secret code messages, which are these. But I can throw that in whenever. We didn't do the mystery picture. But I've got, you know, like an hour... I've got about a, mm. 
I have about an hour after lunch before we want to do the um, Squirrel's New Year's resolution book. So they can work on that then. We can, some of this can spill into tomorrow too. And we didn't get to do this. Yeah, can't get, stand up. We didn't get to do this strategy game, which I think they'll really, really like. But I've got all my little cubes out. I figured up they need to have 15 cubes because there are 15 little pieces of confetti on the page. So I've got those all worked out. And let me just put these over here as extra underneath my squirrel thing. Yeah, I'll just do that. So I've got plenty of things for them to do. Things usually take longer than you think they will for the most part. I always, I always, always over plan because it's always good to be able to pull something out. Oh, here, let's do this next because something went faster than you thought would happen, which doesn't usually occur, but sometimes. <sighs> okay, I'm going to go put all of those papers in the kids' cubbies and I'm probably going to eat my piece of pizza and... Get myself organized for the rest of the day and for tomorrow and probably find something on YouTube for the early buses to occupy them so they're not screamingly loud because I don't want to go home with a headache. Oh, and my daughter Caitlin is in Girls Glee and Girls Glee tends to go around to the different games and sing the national anthem at the start of the game. So I guess there's a wrestling match today in our building and she just found out last night she got a text from her teacher saying, oh, at five o'clock we all need to meet at this school to sing the national anthem for the wrestling match. And she was like, oh, seriously, on the first day back? And I was kind of like, seriously, I just wanted to go home. Because <laughs> I can leave at 345. So that's another hour and 15 minutes that we're going to have to kill until she can sing. So I think we'll probably do some running around. Like I have a Kohl's gift card. We can go to Kohl's, see what they have there. Um, she was needing some things from Walmart, so we could do that. Might grab something to drink from McDonald's. Or something. I don't know. We can find stuff to do. I just don't want to stay here. I don't want to just sit here because I just, I will be really tired if I just sit here. So we'll need to go do something and come back. It'll be fine. It'll probably take her all of five, 10 minutes when she gets here to get it done and come back out. So I'll just wait for her in the car. I can just listen to music. Yeah, but that's kind of a bummer. I was hoping to just go home today. That's why I did all that running around yesterday because I didn't think she'd want to do anything today. <sighs> Best laid plans, right? It'll be okay. My hair just looks so, I don't know, it's very dry. I think it's the weather, and plus I think I have extra hairspray in it today. That's a little bit better. It's just, I don't know. I wore a hat yesterday, which kind of flattened my hair, you know. And then when I went to fix it today, it was just having none of it. <laughs> so I just feel like my hair looks really weird today. It just doesn't look like me. But Oh, did I show you my earrings? I've never worn these before. Aren't these cool? They, they kind of remind me of like... I don't know, the fire, the sparks from the fireworks or confetti being thrown or the, the little bubbles from champagne or whatever. I just thought this was nice and festive for our little party today. Or it looks like fish. <laughs> fish on a string. However you want to look at it. But I think it's cool how they meet up. This one's kind of goofy. But there we go. I think I fixed it. But I thought that was kind of fun with my sparkly sweater because we had to do something special for our New Year's party. Yes. One little girl was like, I'm so excited for my for our party. I could I want to pull my hair out. And I said, oh, honey, let's not do that. I'm glad you're excited. It's kind of party all day, isn't it? And she's like, yes. So she was like, woo, excited, which they all are. They're super woo excited. <laughs> and I'm glad. I wanted them to be excited when they came back. They had a great idea yesterday. Oh, that reminds me. I have a note I need to make. Um, When the kids said, oh, can we bring something we got for Christmas? And I went, that's a great idea. Do you want to do show and tell tomorrow? And they're like, Yeah. I said, okay, let me make a note for that, and we'll talk about it. But it's going to have to be something that it's okay for with the parents for them to bring. Nothing, you know, living, breakable, expensive, yada, yada, all that, you know, rules. But I think that would be great. And we can do that during morning meetings tomorrow because I already have that time budgeted. And I wasn't sure exactly what we were going to do during that time. We were going to talk about Christmas, but now we can show the one thing that we got. So that might take a little longer than expected, but pff, whatever. It's fine. We don't have a spelling test tomorrow, so we don't have to worry about that. And if we don't get some of those little worksheety activities done, it's not a big deal. Those were just for fun anyway. So it'll be okay. We have our assembly at 9.15. I just need to be done before then. Because then after that, we go straight to specials from the assembly. And then we have a little bit of time in our rooms and then lunch. And then if we don't, I may not do Kahoot tomorrow. 
because I have to borrow someone else's iPad so we have enough because we only have eight. I'd have to get like another mm, 10 or 11 more depending on how many kids we have. So I may not worry about that tomorrow and just do some of those games that we didn't get to do. They'll, they'll really like that. I may just plan on that. Make my life easier. I had taken one of the student iPads home with me over Christmas because it had the gingerbread play recorded on it. And there was a big, big hairy deal with that. So I recorded the play. I was going to send it to parents as kind of part of our Christmas present after I edited out the long, drawn out waiting parts. <laughs> so it wasn't so boring. And I had airdropped it to my iPad and then I had accidentally deleted it. So then I went to airdrop it again and I couldn't open the iPad because it was locked. Because the students, student that had been logged into the iPad when I used it had moved and they had disconnected his iPad ID. Like it was no longer valid. And I was like, oh my gosh, what are the odds of me picking the kid's iPad that was moving? And who knew they were going to deactivate his Apple ID thing? I was like, well, crap. <laughs> so I emailed the tech department like emergency help. This is so, so important. Please help me. And then the guy, um, I guess they reinstated his password and stuff and I was able to get in. And the, the guy was like, I was just checking back with you on an email. Um, when I looked on there, all I saw was stuff that this little boy had filmed in the classroom. Like he had recorded like stuff in our classroom just to be silly. He goes, I didn't see anything on there. I'm like, I'm glad that I had already looked at the stuff on there before I saw that. Cause I would have freaked out, totally freaked out. It was on there. I don't know why he didn't see it, but it was on there. So I airdropped it to my iPad from home after I got it all figured out. So anyway, I had had that laying in my bag for two weeks and I forgot to put it back with the other iPads. I did that this morning. So that's all good. And it's charging because I'm sure it's dead now because I didn't charge it over Christmas at all after I used it. So I think I've got all my ducks in a row now. Things are back in the classroom where they belong. Things are put away. Things that are supposed to be out are out. Things that are not supposed to be out are not out. I've got my table cleaned up from the snack. I've got my glasses out for our toast. And the seven up I put in the car last night so it'd stay cold and then I put it in the fridge when I got here so it should be nice and cold when we drink it. Okay, so that was a lot of rambling. <laughs> Let me go get some things done and then I will chat with you later. <laughs> Happy confetti game this one they could not get enough as a matter of fact I just let them play until it was time to do something else 
instead of trying to squeeze one more thing in, I think we just didn't get the mystery picture done. We could just do that tomorrow. It's no big deal. But, oh, yeah, and it was funny. When you were watching the kids play, you could see the moment when they realized that they had lost. They would go. Because <laughs> when it got down to two on the board and then it was their turn, they could only pick one because you had to leave one on the board because the last the person that takes the last one wins. Well, you can only get down to one. You can't take both of them. She can't leave zero. So that was really fun. And I told the kids that they could switch partners. So they'd play a game with one partner once, twice, whatever, and then they could switch around, which was great because they're like, hey, you want a new partner? They're like, yeah, I want a new partner. Because then they would get different ideas from their other partners, different strategies, different moves. Because after playing with the same partner for a while, you could start to kind of predict what they were going to do. And then it was pretty easy to strategize and win. So having them move around to different partners was great. They loved it. They didn't get tired of it. Nobody got angry except one little boy is just having a rough day. I don't know what his deal is. I think he's tired and just everything is just too much. So <laughs> I've had to talk him off the ledge a few times, but we've made it through. It's been okay. I got my book orders finally. They were still in a stack of mail. So I just cut the mail open and I just distributed all of the flyers to everybody that had some in the stack. And I was in that stack. So that worked out great. I've got my planner out right here. My sad, sad, little neglected happy planner. Probably hasn't been so very happy lately. I think I've shown this before, like when I did it once in my teacher bag, but it's the pineapple one. Shocker, I know, shocker. But, like, I don't think I've opened this for about four weeks, probably. No, I think I might open it once during break and went, oh, yeah, okay. And then I didn't look at it again. But I really need to get back into using it because, like, I don't know what's going on. Day to day, I'm just like, yeah, I think something's coming up, but I need to check. I have to like look through all my information like emails and all that junk when I could just be smart and write it in here and then open it up and know. It would save me so much time to just write it down when I first get the information. Like I'm pretty sure I have a hair appointment tomorrow but I was dumb and didn't bring this with me last time I had a hair appointment and so I don't know. don't know if I do or not. Maybe I wrote down the December one. Okay. I should have an appointment tomorrow at 4.15. I think I will text my hair person and ask her because she's really good at replying to texts. I think I should do that. Then I'll know what I'm doing tomorrow. I need to plan my life a little better so I know what I'm doing. My daughter's 17th birthday is on the 18th. 17. I think I mentioned that before, but it's just, yeah, just sounds really weird to me. This is sad, but we are both hoping that the wrestling meet gets canceled for some kind of weather thing so that she doesn't have to stay insane. The boys, I think it was boys and girls, middle school basketball game has been canceled and not rescheduled. So we're kind of hoping that happens with the wrestling meet too. But I think the, the basketball game was away and probably there. Maybe they're having worse weather than we are. I don't really know. I don't know. I'm hoping to hear something about not having wrestling so she doesn't have to do that. But I don't know. It's not looking too promising. <laughs> yeah. So my kids are at recess. For just another minute or two. It's inside recess, of course. Oh, I've got about five minutes. My microwave clock is so much faster than the actual time, so I need to reset that. It doesn't keep time very well. It's actually 145, and it says it's 147, which two minutes makes a huge difference in teaching world. Let's fix that. Oh, one little boy was really funny. So at um, at one o'clock he goes, hey, it's 13 o'clock. And I went, you are not wrong, friend. And he just kind of went, really? I said, that is military time. I said, normal time that most people say goes on a 12-hour cycle. There are two 12-hour cycles in a day. We have 12 hours a day and 12 hours of night. I said, military time goes in 24 hours. So instead of going from 12 back to 1 again and starting over, they just keep counting till they get to 24. And he's like, huh. So there was a little enrichment tidbit for him. He really liked that information. So that was pretty cool. We just got through watching Squirrel's New Year's Resolution, and the kids are in the process of various stages of cutting and gluing their little sequencing sheet, and we just kind of did it together. I just numbered the pages on the board for them so they could just look at it, because we did talk about it and stuff, but just to make it easier, because there are a lot of pieces to cut. There are 15 pieces for them to keep track of, and so I just did that for them so they could know how to do it and I just left it up my makeup is like melting off my face today crazy so yeah 
Oh, it's been a really good day. It really has. I think part of it is because I knew the kids would enjoy what we were doing. And I didn't feel pressured today because it's the first day back and we're just kind of getting back in the swing of things. And I didn't have to teach normal stuff today. So I could just kind of ease back into the schedule of life. And the kids are enjoying that too. So I'm really glad. Um, when we get back from recess, I'm going to let them finish their little cutting and gluing thing. Everyone should have everything cut pretty much. And then I'll give them a, like five or ten minutes to finish up. And then... We we should be ready for our final bag at 2 o'clock, and that's going to be free drawing time, and so that's what they're going to get to do. But before they do free drawing time, I think I may have them pack because it'll motivate them to pack more quickly, and then we won't have to mess with that when they're drawing. So they'll just have to put their drawing in their backpack when they're done. And really, one of our kindness things that we were supposed to do before Christmas was to make a teacher – no – was to make a picture for a teacher – and they haven't gotten to do that. So I'm thinking I'm going to have them at least do one of their drawings for a teacher and take it to a teacher in the morning, like sometime, well, sometime tomorrow, not necessarily morning because we have the assemblies all morning. But something like that would be good. I tried to print this out. I don't know if you can see that. The cubes poster, which is something that I've been doing anyway, not necessarily with that language, but it's where you have the kids circle the numbers in an equation, underline the question, like in a word problem. Box the keywords, eliminate what you don't need, and don't. does your answer make sense? So it's the cubes strategy. Some of you probably are familiar with that and use it in your classrooms. But I kind of like it. I kind of don't, I think. I don't know. Of course, I'm going to have to teach them what the keywords are, but it didn't print upstairs. I don't know what happened with that. Maybe I didn't put current page. So I'm sure I did. I don't know. I'll print it again. So I can grab that up before I get my kids from recess. So if I leave, like, now, <laughs> I just got here a minute ago. If I leave now, I can pick that up and put it in a sleeve, and I'll have it ready for Chapter 9, which is Addition and Subtraction, Double Digit. So, because we'll be doing some of those things and those problems. Yep. All righty. Well, I might check back with you later after school, or I might not. Stay tuned to see. <laughs> <laughs> Either way, I'll see you another time. Well, I survived the day. Everyone went home safe, as far as I know. Late buses haven't left yet, but I sent them out there safe and sound. It is really cold. I don't even know what the temperature is, but it is super cold. Brr. It's a whopping 23 degrees outside, so a little chilly. I just got an email getting a new student on Monday. Not a surprise. It's a boy. And the funny thing is, he pretty much fits in the same order alphabetically as the one that left. So that's good. So I'm getting uh, the folders <laughs> renamed with his name on them. I got him a new rag tag necklace. I'm getting his new uh, name tag. That's what it's called, name tag. I got a homework card for him. I need to get a, a job chart card for him. And I need to look around and see what else. I need to clean out the book box for him so he can have a fresh book box when he comes. I think that's good. One of my little girls was knocking at the door and waving. <laughs> They're getting ready to leave. <laughs> I'm using my nail polish remover here to get this new guy's name on this name tag. All right, there we go. All right, let me get his name on here. Because I could have gotten him a new name tag because I have a whole stack of them, but it's just as easy to erase the old one and write the new name on. Because I've already punched the holes and put the clips on, so it's just easier for me. Done. That's taken care of. Just, well, just got a text that my daughter's here. Oh, my battery's about dead. Isn't that great? 
my daughter is here and she's telling me where she is and she's grouchy because someone parked dumb <laughs> imagine someone parking dumb in a parking lot <laughs> she said the person that parked stupid got honked at so he moved <laughs> that's funny okay I'm glad I don't have to be in that parent pickup mess because it can get downright ruthless. I'm telling you, it's, it's not a pretty sight. You get an angry, like, soccer mom out there and all bets are off. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good thing. Ugh. So I told my kids, sorry, I'm going over this name again because it was kind of looking bad. Um... I told my kids about their pen pals. So we sent a pen pal letter to Mrs. Brown's class in Oklahoma. And they're going to be sending us a letter back sometime this month. And then we'll get to send them a letter back pretty much the next month. Because I think it's going to take a little while to... It takes a while to get first graders to write and then get everything packaged and all that stuff. So I'm thinking if we just kind of go off and on every other month, that'll work out really great. So, okay. I can hang this name tag. I took my little bags down. I'm going to put them in my January thing because then aha, they're ready for next year. And I'll have to make them over and over and over and over every time I go home for Christmas break. Yay. There is this thing on the screen. It's driving me nuts and it won't come off. And it makes me look like I have a spot on my head. There we go. Oh, goodness. <laughs> my daughter. <laughs> my daughter just texted me and said, yeah, that's what he gets. But the guy that parked bad and got honked at, I'm like, it's parking. Like, who cares, really? I mean, I get aggravated too, but, you know, whatever. Okay, I'm going to get myself back together. I'm glad I checked my emails. I would not have wanted to see that tomorrow because tomorrow, well, I pretty much got everything ready. Except for I need to figure out my class jobs for next week. I need to figure out my terrific kid because they'll be asking. They'll be asking, who's your terrific kid for next week? I'll be like, hmm, let me pick somebody. So I'll think about that tonight. I don't think I have to do anything at home tonight. Yay. One of my sweet boys brought me this little card. I got you something. I'm like, oh, sweet. So it came in this cute little envelope. And then look at the cute little pineapple because they know I love pineapples. It says, you're too sweet. And he opened it up and he decorated it. And it says, Miss, Miss As, M S A S, Mrs. And it looks like Bond because he reversed his B's, but Mrs. Bond, you are the best first grade teacher. Love. And he wrote his name. He spelled his last name incorrectly, but we'll work on that. And he made a beautiful design on there for me. So sweet. So sweet. So sweet. Oh, I didn't show you the ring I was wearing. So there's the ring I was wearing today. No watch, no bracelet, because I'm sparkly enough without it. Yes. So I said, oh, thank you. That's so sweet. I'm going to put it on my desk so I can enjoy it all day long. And I did. I put it right in front of my lesson plan so I could look at it. And then I got a, a note with three boys' names on it from the art teacher. He was on the note. It was not a good note. It was, uh, these three had a lot of trouble today. And I'm like, yeah, great. <laughs> Fabulous. Okay, this was a big hit with the kids. They loved it. The New Year's kiss note. They, they loved it, loved it, loved it. Um, they pretty much loved everything today. What's not to love when you do parties all day? Or when you party all day? One of my girls goes, when are we going to have our big party? I said, well, honey, this whole day's a party. And she's like, oh. I said, you know how we're doing something every hour and we're doing stuff in between? She's like, oh, yeah. I said, it's kind of like a whole day party thing. And I think I mentioned this morning that one of my kids had this great idea to do a show and tell with their favorite Christmas present as long as it met these guidelines. Not living, don't bring your puppy. Not edible, don't bring your favorite candy bar. <laughs> um, not breakable, we don't want to be responsible for that. Not expensive, don't bring your iPhone 10X, whatever, or a game or whatever. <clears throat> and it has to be okay with your mom and dad, whoever you live with. And it has to fit in your backpack. So basically six things. Okay, so with those six stipulations, I, I printed up a note really fast. And I said, go shove these in your backpacks and make sure you show mom and dad that before you pick something to bring tomorrow. So we'll do the Christmas gift show and tell 
during morning meeting tomorrow. And I think I did mention this earlier, but I got it. Almost, I had almost completely forgotten. And one of the kids goes, oh, you didn't make our note. And I went, oh, you're right. Let me do it really fast right now while you guys are working on your squirrel thing and working on your drawings and whatever. So, uh, slip that in right under the wire. Whew, got it done. So that they would have been really disappointed. And that was a really great idea because we were already going to talk about our favorite thing. And so they can just show their favorite thing. Awesome sauce. Okay. I'm going to get out of here because we're going to run around and do a few things before Caitlin has to come back here to do her singing of the national anthem for the wrestling match. And then we can go home for realsies. And I think I already know what I'm going to wear tomorrow. Maybe. Probably. I don't know. It's going to be a bajillion cold Fahrenheit. So something warmish. Ugh. Okay. I need to put my cup over here. Ugh. I need to put these things in the kit, the new kid's cubby. I think it's pretty much ready for him. I'll have more time to think about it tonight. But seriously, I think I pretty much got everything done. Oh, I should probably take my Christmas notepads down. Do you guys get really, like, sad when you have to take all your Christmas stuff down? I totally do. Like, it really makes me bummed. Because I love Christmas so much. But that is why... I always have something to look forward to. Aw, I forgot I had this. How cute is that? Where'd that come from? Walmart. Hmm. You know, I think I got this last year at Valentine's time because look what else I found. So, you never know what you're going to find when you look through your desk. Because <laughs> who has time to look in their desk? Yeah. Alrighty, like I said, I'm going to get myself out of here and go run around and do whatever I need to do and go home and collapse. So, goodbye for today and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Good morning, happy Friday. Made it through one whole day of school back with kids and we had an awesome day. It was really great. Today should be fun too. We're going to do some more activities this morning, catch up and pickles and morning meeting and then get to bring in a Christmas present that they got that they really like and talk about it during morning meeting time. Then we have our assembly, a little snack. Um, we're going to do some of the games that we didn't get to yesterday. And it's just going to be a fun day. Just kind of relax, kind of just getting back in the groove, getting to know each other again, getting to learn how the rules work again, <laughs> being on a schedule a little more. Yeah, so I thought I'd quickly show you my outfit, and then I'm going to run these bus passes to the different classrooms that need them. So I'm just wearing some leggings, of course. Let me see if I can move this up a little bit. I'm wearing some leggings, some boots with boot cuffs, a long sleeve t-shirt, this necklace here with earrings, this ring. These came from Cato, I believe. This was from Walmart. Um, this is from Arisa's. This is from Walmart. Leggings are from Walmart. They're the really plush velour soft ones. Kids will probably be petting my legs today, and that is okay as long as they keep to a certain level. <laughs> Nothing above the knee. Okay, here's what I'm wearing. Just very comfortable, very soft, very warm, because it's the high of 27 today, and it's like, 17 right now so burr cold another inside recess day that's okay we can do this we can do this and we get out at two o'clock today because it's early release because teachers have our plc meetings on fridays so we'll be talking about our next intervention groups that start monday ah so i'm not sure what i'm doing and i really uh, i hate having to plan at the last minute so hopefully we can get this whipped out really quickly so I can figure out what I'm doing. Hopefully it's something I've done before and I can just use what I've already pulled out because I've saved all like the extra copies of things from each unit that I've done to make my life a little easier. Plus I've made folders on my desktop so that I can find stuff to print very easily. So hopefully it'll be good. I want to at least have Mondays ready and then Monday I can get the rest of it ready. That would be okay. I would, I would live with that because I just want to relax this weekend after... All the preparation of getting ready and coming back and getting back in the swing and just being very tired and catching up with things. My little snowman is falling over. Let me show you my little kind of snowscape. Then I'm going to open the door and get ready for the day. I've got my sign. I will turn it on later. My little snow people. These are the ones I got in the Christmas section. I think they're gift card holders. They're like $1.50. I thought they were super cute. 
And then <laughs> this is my tree skirt because I have some of that buffalo snow and I just, I'm not sure where it is at the moment. So that's it right there. And then we're gonna be reading some of those books up there. I'll just need to get to them. Yes, that's our little snow stuff. And then I've got this snowman over here too. Right there, he's kind of peeking. So it's about time for kids to come, so I'm gonna get crack a lacking. Hi, we just got back from the assembly and I took my kids to music. When they get back, we'll take a restroom break and then we're gonna play that confetti strategy game again. It's this one right here, where they take the things off and whoever takes off the last piece is the winner. That's the tricky thing. You have to leave, oops, things are falling. You have to leave one piece behind. The kids know when they get down to two, they're sunk. If it's not their turn, they're like, oh, you can see it in their eyes. They're like, oh, they just beat me. <laughs> but then they're like, let's go again. I mean, the competitive nature comes out. It's pretty cool. Um, so after that, we're going to do our mystery picture that we didn't get to do yesterday where they just follow the directions on the chart and they all have brand new crayons, except the one girl that was gone yesterday and I have hers right here. I have to remember to give those to her. But they will get to follow the directions and color the numbers, the color that it says on their paper and see what the message is. So that'll be cool. Then we'll have lunch and when we come back from lunch, we're gonna do our resolution or goals writing. We didn't get to start that at all yesterday because things took longer, which is fine. I didn't push it. We can do that today, no biggie. And then it'll be time to go home because it's early out today, yay. There was one student that was honored in the assembly and I had gotten an email back from his parents saying, thank you for letting us know we're not able to attend because they had to work, of course. And I was like, oh, thank you for letting me know. I'm sorry you can't come. It's going to be awesome. So I was able to video it. So I'm going to send that to them. So that's going to just make their day. That'll be really fun because I was able to video him getting his award so that they don't miss all of it. So that'd be nice. I'm going to do that now and I will check back in with you later. On the way to taking my students to specials, I had three gentlemen that had gotten in trouble in art yesterday. So during our ketchup and pickles time today, I had those three write apology letters to the art teacher and I had them take them to her before we went to music because they're right next door to each other. And they were supposed to read the letter to her and tell her that they were sorry for whatever it was that happened. So I think that made her happy. I think it's really important to make amends for when you do something that you shouldn't have done. And I want them to really reflect on what happened and what they'll do next time. And so that's what they wrote in their letters. I helped them get started and then I sent them off to write them. And so they delivered them to the art teacher and then we went to music and all was good. So that's taken care of. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, I'm not at school anymore. I'm in my bathroom filming studio. <laughs> this is the room that has the best light at the end of the day, sad but true. So it is six o'clock. I'm finally home from school. I didn't have any time to vlog after I talked to you last because we had recess and then I had to get some things done in the office and then I was, I kind of had like a little chat session with a second grade teacher about math and then had to pick up my kids and then got them finishing up their New Year's resolution slash goals. Most of them finished, just a few of them need to finish up their little person. Then we needed to pack and get ready to go and then I had early bus duty got them loaded onto the buses and I got back to my room. I was starting to get things picked up and put away and get ready for Monday when the influx of first grade teachers came to my room and I didn't realize that I had the host room for the meeting. Fabulous. So no time to chat then. Then we had hair appointments and of course since the meeting was in my room, the meeting had to run late so I was late for my appointment. Then we had to run and get some food for Caitlin and we finally got home. So I'm saying goodbye now because I'm pooped. I think we're gonna get pizza, probably watch some TV, fall asleep on the couch, exciting stuff like that, and just relax the rest of the night. <sighs> Tomorrow, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I might start doing some Valentine shopping for the YouTube Valentine Exchange for the teacher tubers, so we'll see how that goes. But I don't think I can show you what I'm getting because some people might become suspicious because we're being secret about it. It's a secret Valentine Exchange. So I probably won't show you right away what I found until later on. So I may film it and just wait to show you until after the exchange so that no one is any the wiser. Alrighty, I hope you had a great week and I will talk to you next time. Bye.